Just as nearly dark here, Heidi. For the bad hole in that, Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here to the Western football final here between Kilrossenty and Ballyduff Upar. A unique pair in Ballyduff, the home of Holland, and Kilrossenty, I suppose, the home of football. Kilrossenty in their second final in, uh, within, 12, within two years. Kilrossenty won the final last year again, beaten by Medellica by one pint. They were favourites last year. Who are favourites here today? I don't know. If I was to be honest about it, I'd say Ballyduff must be slight favourites. That's what the pressmen are saying all the week anyway, that Ballyduff are slight favourites. Kilrossenty team out there in front of us. The last time Kilrossenty won a junior title was in 1937. It's 60, I was told at Mass this morning, it's 60 years ago today that Pad Vale lifted the cup below in Port Law. They beat Port Law in a county final 60 years today. I was told that last night in the pub in Limmy Ryan. No, not at Mass this morning. I was told that in Crotty's last night. Whether that's true or not, I know. But we're all, I know for certain it was 1937. And Nevio Pad Veals is still on the, still holding that name in the club all the time. Seamus Veal is there. Look at him down there in front of us. Seamus Veal, who will play in the half-back line today for Kill Rossenty. He'll play number, he's number five. There he's down there in front of us, dancing around in front of us. And Navy of the great Pad Veal. A lot of the Kill Rossenty team down there over the years, in the, in, the, in the 80s, they've won five. Some of those lads down there have won five senior championships medals. The two pender guests, Tom and Pat, John Welch is there. They all have five senior championship medals. Tom Behan is there, another man. Nicky Hayes is there. They're all laden, with, w w w w laden into the history books, we'll say. Are laden in the history books, I don't know. And the young lads then, there's two under 16 lads down there. There's little Tommy Coyley and Kieran O'Connor. And Paul Hayes. Well, they're, they're not under 16, but they're under 17, we'll say. They're between 16 and 17. They're all minus for next year, so that'll tell you the, the, the difference in age in the team. The oldest man on the Kilrossenty team today would be, wait, let's see. I'm not so sure. I have to be very careful. It's between Joe Welsh and Tom Pender. Tom Pender, incidentally, is the captain today. There he is inside the goal there now. He's either catching the ball. The light isn't good here. Well, it's half past three here of a November evening, and it's a dark sluggy, wet old evening here. The ball, the underfoot conditions are heavy here. The Geraldines are just out to capture the Western Holland title there just a few minutes ago and they go on out to meet Bally Duff Law. There I see Father O'Burns, he was out there seeing what the opposition was like. He's down in Bally Duff now. The referee for today is Je Seamus Maher Unrying, a good referee, Pat Moore I presume is the linesman and Pat Tyler Welch is out there. Great credit must go to the groundsman here, to Tommy Drummy and Eddie Welch for at this day of the year to have in this field, this is the third game in this field here today. Earlier on here today, we're waving at you Pat. Earlier on here today, Pat Moore is looking over at us, he heard us talking about him. Earlier on here today, Kilrossenty beat the Brickies in the Western uh, under 12 quarter final on a scoreline of 1 3 to 5 points. So the Guanuit will meet Al Moore or uh, uh, beside next weekend. Sean Burns, the cameraman, is over there. He's waiting for the Belly Duff to, team to appear on the field. This is the third time Kilrossenty and Belly Duff will be at the plane this year. Uh, it's even Stephen up to this. Whole win today, who knows? Who knows? But anyway, uh, on, on the first occasion in the league up in Ballyduff, Ballyduff beat Kilrossendy handy. Kilrossendy always said they were shocked a couple that day, whether they were or not they weren't. It's hard to know when you have a senior team who you will have or who you won't have. Incidentally, this is Kilrossendy's third adult team here this year. But um, they had a junior B team again and they got to the Western final. And uh, fair achievement, I suppose, for a, for, a, for, a, for, a, for a handy little parish to put out three adult teams in the one year. There's Kieran O'Connor, number 10, they're cutting through with the ball, they're kicking it around, no sign of Bally Duff, the time is running, time, they're only about four minutes left for them, they're supposed to start at half three, but anyway, we'll see how it'll go, I'm sure they'll arrive out any minute, and Paddy Pendergast, I presume, will be the captain, played a great game in the league final, Carson, won the league final in Capo Quinn, they beat him by about three or four pints. So like I said, it's even Stephen uh, so far this year. Who will win this one? I know the referee's blown in his whistle. He's calling out Bally Duff. I don't know who the empires are down there. I think one of them is Feeney Mern, and it looks like he's Feeney Mern. And like I said, here comes Bally Duff. And I was right in what I said. It is Paddy. Well, Paddy Pendergast was first out. That doesn't mean he was the captain. Maybe he is. Pat Moore is coming over in here to his position. Uh, they have a lot of good players here. There's one particular fellow here. Take note. We'll take note of number 10, John Toomey. There's a message over the. There's an announcement over the system here. What is it? What do we see? There's one change in the Ballyduff team, I'm after being told. We'll just look through it here now. Kenneth Geary, Michael Dustlan, and Michael Leamy. 
Michael Malumpi, party pen, the guest, well, all right, so far. Well, he's going to get the Kilrossendy team now. Here's Kilrossendy down here that out, like I said, for a while. There's an announcement we made here. They're giving the team, they're playing as selected. In goal is Ivan Wheel in the full back line is Pat Pendagas, Tom Pendagas, and Nicky Hayes. Half back line, Seamus Veal, Tom Bain, and Eamon Fling. Centre field, Joe Hull and Dan McCoyley. Keon O'Connor, number 10, Joe Welsh, 11, and Paul Hayes, the young lad, number 12. Neely Connor of the Kelvin family down there in Fuse. 13. Kevin Lundigan, big Kevin. I'm sure Matt Ian is here today. I was talking to his uncle Jim last night, Lemmy Bryan. He had to go back early this morning. He said he had some kind of a flight problem with a ticket or something. I'm not sure what it was, but anyway, he's very sorry to be missing this match. The size of the Bally Duff team here must be noted. Yeah, big Tom Feeney. I'm sure he, he would be hauling for Waterford today, only if I have to play here today. Waterford, by the way, at half time in Ennis Ground. Uh, half time score just got it coming up there. They're leading by a pint. It's 1 5 to suit him. Right, let's see who's going to win the toss. Kevin Tom Pendergast is coming out here. <laughs> Tom Pendergast won it and he's going to play into the threes. Kilrossen, they are playing up in the first half and Bally Duff are playing down. So that says Bally Duff stay as where they are. They're playing into that goal. Tom Pendergast is playing the goal. Bally Duff are defending that goal. Sorry. So in a couple of minutes, anyway, the Western final will be underway. The Western final for 1997. Kilrossen, a unique pair to see Kilrossen in a Western junior final because it's hard enough to put out a senior team, but to have a good junior team as well is not easy. The three selectors is Johnny and Twin. Big Jake Coyley and Harry Quinn, they're the three men that steer this team through. Chairman of the club is all the two, Pat Cunningham and Brian Kelvin is there. Pat Hayes, his brothers, two brothers are playing there. Nicky Hayes is playing there and Paul Hayes is playing there. Joe Hool and I see in their centre field. Tommy Coyley is in the half hour. Little Tommy, I presume Tommy will be taking the freeze today. Whatever little bit of a breeze is in it, it's very, very little. By the way, I see the flask, the mass, the flag, the flask I was going to say. The flag is at half mast. I didn't hear of anybody being dead in the GS circles. Maybe there is, maybe they're not. I don't know, but we'll soon see. Whether we're going to have a national anthem or not, I don't know. Now in the June the final, we probably will. In a couple of minutes now, this match will be on the way. I'd say probably within one minute. The Western final will be on. Who will win? I don't know. There are shouting Kilrossendy. Some are shouting Bally Duff. Who knows? I'd say it's about any second now. I've got to settle my watch, so stay with me for one second now. We want to get the time right. There's John Toomey down here in front of us, and Ned Fling is on him. No, Tomas Maher is going to hang on for a few seconds. He's not ready. He's going to wait. He's thrown it back out to him. Jack Holland's thrown it back out to him. He's not ready to start yet. I'm going to be ready with my watch to see how you know, you'll hold. Bear with me now for a second. I will. The Western final, maybe they're going to play the national anthem. I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. Right, here we go. My ball is about to be thrown in. It's half past three. And the first puck of the ball goes to Jahola. And he doesn't get it. Tom Bean is going to get a centre back. Toomey is on it. John Toomey is on it. Number... It's a free for Kilrossenty. Someone touched the ball. Tomas Maher said a free for Kilrossenty. Who's going to take it? Nicky Hayes is going to take it. Tom Behan is going to take it. I don't know who's going to take it. Someone am I going to take it. Here it goes. Into Paul Hayes. He doesn't get it. Somebody gets it. Big Kevin Lundigan is in it. Will he come for it? He hesitated. He didn't get it. Neely Cavan is down on it. Neely has it. He's been surrounded by a whole load of fellas there. Patrick Malumpy says that he fouled it. So Neely is going to hand the ball to Malumpy and Malumpy is going to take it quick. You see, no, Paddy Pendrick is back there, number nine. Paddy, that man, the P&T man, is going to kick it. Up high in the sky. Better known as a Holland team. Who's that? Paul Hayes is under it. Seamus Veal is under it. Number 12 for Belly Duff have it. That's Thomas Malumpy. The Malumpy's all over the place here. That's a bad wide for Malumpy. Well, it really didn't re reach the target. He, sh he should have went to it. Tommy Scanlon was there, but he couldn't reach it. Tommy Scanlon in the league final came up all the way from... Full forward up to full, uh, from full back up to full forward, or um, no, it wasn't him. To the full back came down to take a penalty and missed it in the first half above and Bally Duff that in, in Capo Quinn that evening. Big Ivan kicks it out, not a good ball for Big Ivan. Gives it to the danger man, Tommy. First score for Tommy, it must be. Yes, there's the first score. A bad ball from Ivan, a bad kick out there, and Eamon Fling wasn't ready for him. Eamon Fling had a great game here in the Western semi final. He was on, he was on, he was on the, uh, he was one on Gandhi O'Brien of Balnamila. First score, first blood for Balnamila, pint uh, for Bally Duff. That's Tommy, he's a good player, that fella. I saw that fella playing in Capaquin the evening. Tom Pender is going to kick the kick out this time. 
Tom should get in under. He has kicked out enough of him in his time, and that's a great kick out. Who's going to get it? Paul Hayes. He won't. Goes over his head. Paddy Pendergast is there. Jerry Welsh is on Paddy Pendergast. Paddy was very near the side there. Yes, you pulled his jersey, he said. So it's a free for Paddy Pendergast and Ballyduff. Ballyduff, he's not going to. He's, he's not going to. He's, he's not going to. He's going to give it to Patrick Malone. That's Tommy again. Ned Fling is going to get it. Nicky Hayes is going to get it. Nicky Hayes is going to flick it out. Or the, or the flag kept it in. Well, that must, uh, the, the, the post kept it in. That has to be a line ball uh, because the post was in the way, so the ball would not normally have went out. Anyway, who's going to take this? Jeffini. Got to kick a good ball down. Tom Pendergast is coming out for it. Tom doesn't get it. Who's that fella? There are three or four of them there. Jer Holan is there. Is Jer going to drive it up the field? Big Jer. A good ball over. Who's over there? The Bally Duff man. Little Tommy is coming for it. Tommy won't get that one though. It beats him. It goes to Bally Duff. It goes to uh, the Tom Feeney, the Holler, the county man. Bally Duff seemed to be starting very well in this game. They seem to be playing the better football so far. Anyway, Pat Pendergast, have you the legs of it? Is that party Pendergast I see again? Number eight up there. Have to see. The light is fading here. Have to see who is that fella. I don't know who is, but it's a dangerous ball in. The full forward has it. Tommy Scannell has it. He makes a bad job of it. Number 12 is down there. He has a Thomas Malumpy. It's a 65, one of the umpires says. Somebody got his hand to it. I don't know who got his hand to it. But it's a 65 for Bally Duff anyway. Tommy Scannell. Against the wind. There's a slight little bit of a breeze there. Will he, will he, will he deliver it the full way? It's dead enough at the moment. Not much cheering here. He's coming back from it. They say, take a good run at it. They're shouting from the line. Take a good run at it. This will land inside in where Ger Holhan and Paddy Pendergast is anyway. Inside into it should land in the square. It's a bad one. Oh, to Tom Pendergast. A very bad kick. What'll Tom? If I were you, Tom, I'd leave it go over to Tommy Coyley. Tommy rounds his man, he'll leave him for dead, but he mightn't be able to round his man. It's not that easy. Who's going to get that? Kevin Lundigan is in. Can, can Kevin get it? No, Kevin is cut for space, for cut for speed. Nobody has it at the moment. Only number two. Number two, Kenneth Geary is there. It looked to be a free there. Party Pendergast is back there too. Number three is there. Michael Dresslan. Michael Dresslan. Who has it now? Jar Welsh for Kilgas and he has it. Jar is going to get a free in, but it looks to be a long ways out for Tommy Kiley. Will Tommy? Tommy is going to go up and take it. Like I said, Tommy a minor again next year. This would be a very good difficult. The referee says go out further with it. It's a long ways out. It's almost on the 45 at an angle. For a left-legged player, it's all right for a left-legged player to take it from there. Little Tommy from Ballengown. All the Kiley family here today cheering on little Tommy. If Tommy puts this one over, it'll do an awful lot of good for his confidence. It's a good ball. It's a great ball for Tommy Kiley. Tommy found the target. Little Tommy, he's known as around Levy Bryan. And little Tommy and the little one back. Tommy seems to be playing on this wing. I think they'll have to switch in Tommy over here with Kieran O'Connor. Tommy was over on the other wing a, minute, a few minutes ago, but he seemed to be gone over here anyway. What are them anyway? Let him switch wherever the hell they like. We're not, worried. We're not too worried. Number three, Michael Dresselan is going to kick it out. Between Dresselans and Malumpies and Flings, we don't know where we are here today. They're all brothers and they're intermarried and interrelated. But we'll try and keep going as much as we can. Party Pendergast. He always seemed to be way, everywhere there's a ball. Who is that? That's Seamus Veal. There looked to be a foul there, but nobody seemed to get it. Little Tommy has it again. Kieran O'Connor was fouled. Yes, definitely Kieran O'Connor was fouled. And Pat Pendergast is going to take it. A slight breeze favouring Kilwasanty. Very, very slight. There's not much in it. Five minutes gone in this Western final. Who's going to kick it? Into big Kevin Lundigan. He takes it and a great ball. He, le he left a great ball go to Jer Holham. Jer Holham, Jer Welsh is, Jer Welsh is battled up. There must be a free in for Tommy Coyley. This should be an easy one for Tommy Coyley. Good play there with the Kilwasanty forward line. They seem, seem to find their man there. We'll continue on with the play. Little Tommy has settled a straight. Maybe Tommy rather if it was at an angle. But anyway, we're at him. He's going to take it with the right leg. He's going to build this one with the right leg. Will he put it over? We'll see. This should be an easy one for Tommy. Is it turning? It's a point. Yes, he's gone for the flag. Tommy Kiley has put it over. So the scoreboard. I'm just closing the door here behind me. The one man wanted to come in here behind him. Michael Dresslan gets in under it. A good kick out. Who's going to go for it? Tom B. And nobody gets it. Big Jake is there. Jake doesn't get it. Does he? He got a leg to it. Nobody got it. Number six, Big Tom Feeney is there. Good hold of this fella. Good strong player. Like I said, a regular on the county scene of Holland team, this, 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 this Tom Feeney. What's he going to do with it? There's somebody running loose for it out there. Seamus Veal's man is out there. Number 12. That's Thomas Malumpy. All over the list. Big Coyley is coming for it. Will he get it? Oh, bad ball from Dermot Coyley into Paul Hayes. A hopeless ball from Dermot Coyley. Put terrible pressure on the class in the back. Tom Feeney is going in. Nobody on Tom Feeney. Who's going to come from? Tom Bain is going to come from. Damn nearly fouled him. Will he put it over? That did, Tom, Tom Bain was very, very lucky there to get away with that. It looked to be a late tackle on Tom Feeney. 
Very, very lucky the referee said play on. Dermot Coyley hasn't got into this game here at all. I don't even know has he caught any ball yet in the middle of the field. That was a bad ball, bad mistake out of Dermot Coyley. I'm sure he's fair that he'll eat when he go home this evening. He'll throw him into a silage pit tomorrow if Kilrasen they don't win this match because Jim Fair lost to John Coyley. This is their 27th match played this year and I think they won 25 of them. There's a great kick out from Tom Pendergast. Up they go for it. Nobody gets it. Joe Welch is there and Paddy Pendergast. Tom Behan pulls it in the left leg. Down to little Tommy Coyley. Tommy Coyley and number two, Kenneth Geary. Who's going to get Kevin Lundergan is coming in the full back. The referee says, I don't know, that harsh decision on Kevin Lundigan anyway, that's what the referee says. He said it, Kevin Lundigan fouled him, I don't know whether he did or not. Number five took it there anyway, Patrick Malumpy. Who's going to get this? Big Ned Fling. Ned Fling got a wallow into the jaw there, but she might as well be hitting my hand bridge the whole place. Tom Behan, back to Nicky Hayes. What'll Nicky do with it? Tommy Coyley won't get that. That was a bad ball for Tommy Coyley. Yes, a free down here in front of us. A free down. Kenneth Geary is going to give a small, uh, a short little ball into John Toomey. Oh, no, it's not John, that's not John Toomey. Number 11 and number 10 is John Toomey. Number Jim O'Neill. Jim O'Neill will follow the play anyway. The big full power is down to Scallon. Out to Scallon again. What will Scallon do? It's blocked down by Tom Pendergast. Nicky Hayes is there. He's gone down into an angle here. We can barely see. It. They're all down on the ground. Will he throw in the ball? He won't. Tom Pendergast is coming out. Into Ned Fling. A great ball for Ned Fling. Into Paul Hayes. Little Paul. What will Paul do with it? Joe Welsh is over. Oh, dangerous ball for Joe Welsh. He called for the pass, but he gave it bad to him. But anyway, he got it. He put terrible pressure on Joe Welsh. Joe Welsh delivers a big, long ball up to Kevin Lundigan. But Kevin Lundigan is not going to get that. The fullback is going to get it. Michael Daslan. Oh, the referee is very harsh on Kevin Lundigan. He said he pushed him in the back. I don't know. That looks a harsh decision. Seemed to be both running for it, but I suppose maybe there was a little tug of a jersey. I don't know. That ball really wasn't meant for Kevin Lundigan. He's supposed to be in full forward. I don't know who it was meant for over there. Maybe nearly Kelvin. Who's going to get this? Seamus Veal gets a fist to it. It's a great ball from Seamus Veal. He's gone out over the line. Kilrassen de ball. Kilrassen de ball. A quick ball in from Kieran O'Connor. Into who? Little Tommy was fouled down. The referee didn't see it. Tommy Coyley was pulled to the ground. This should be a certain free for Tommy Coyley. He should be able to put this one over the bar. This straight from where he took the last one. Tommy, if I remember correctly, in the league final in Capa Quinn, Tommy Coyley scored six points in the first half from Freeze alone in Capa Quinn that evening. Kilrassen, they are in their game now if they can keep up the momentum, but you can be right sure that Bally Duff will come back at him. I'm dead certain of that. Tom Feeney is there looking on. He's on Joe Welsh. Now, who's going to kick this? Tom, little Tommy. Tommy studies himself. What are they going to do? All the way from Ballengown. Dinny Bryan will be proud of you. Another Ballengown man. I see him going in there with Big Mike while ago. And Dinny said he wants to get a drink out of a cup. Whatever kind of a cup it is, he doesn't know. But anyway, Dinny will drink tonight if Kilrass and Dewey. You can be right sure of that. And Big Mike and Jimmy Dewey and the whole Adam will be there. I see Jiminy in power over there. A great servant to Kilrass and Pat Keaton, they're all over there. Tom Keaton is over there. Anyway, we'll to look to the scoreboard. Three points to one with just ten minutes gone. Not a great game of football. A bad kick out here. Who gets it? Party Pendergast left to go through his legs. Joe Houlihan has it. Out to little Tommy. Tommy is certainly on his game. Tommy was fouled. Must be fouled. Oh, my God, they're all pulling it at Tommy. The referee sees that play on. Tommy is still going through. What's he going to do with it? He'll give it to Tom Bain. Tom is going to hit a big one into the sky. Oh, there look to be a couple of frees there. I know Tommy has it again. Hard enough to win a free here today with Tomas Smile, yes. Oh, a harsh decision. That was a very harsh decision on little Tommy. Well, he don't want to object any. Party Pendergast is going to kick it. Party Pendergast, who is he going to kick it over to? Seamus Veal. Seamus gets it. He was pushed in the back. I thought there. He doesn't get a big Dermot and want to wake up and come into this game. Dermot put up the elbow there, the referee said. Dermot Coyley not going well centre of the field here with the first 10 minutes. Maybe the selectors might have an option, maybe a putting Joe Welsh out there. We'll see anyway. We'll follow the players. Not our job to switch fellas around. Big Ivan has given instructions inside. Who's going to take it? Number 8 is going to take it. Big Malumpy. Who gets it? He's all on the corner. I can't see him. Number 15. Brendan Hannon. Oh, great name in Ballyduff. The Hannons. Big Dermot is coming, but he didn't get it. Who is that? That's the other centre field man. Is that a score? It's wide. That was hard luck. Number 8 there for him. Number 8. Michael Malumpy. Well, he's putting on a bit of pressure there. Dermot Coyley not in the game in the middle of the field there. I think he's either been switched. He's out on Tom Feeney, if my memory serves. As far as I can see, Tom Bean looks to be gone centre field, you say. Ger Hull and Dermot Coyley start at centre field. Uh, right, or is it Paddy Pendergast is after switching? Paddy Pendergast has gone back in Joe Welsh anyway, it looks like. Anyway, what I am, we'll follow the play. It looks like it'll be a rain in the second half. Number 11 went up for it and caught it well there too. 
Number 11, Jim O'Neill. Jim O'Neill, the centre forward. Into Nicky Hayes. Nicky Hayes got a finger. Ned Fling has it. The bowl net from a handbridge. Into Nicky Hayes. What will Nicky do with it? Jimmy Blondie is rotten here. He said, let the ball do the effing walk, he said. Here's little Paul Hayes. That's going to beat him. Paul Hayes was trying to feed little Tommy. The two 16 and a half year olds. The two 17 year olds. We'll give him six months. He was trying to feed him. Right, number two is going to kick this ball here for Ballydove. Kenneth Geary. Kenneth Geary. There's three Malumpies, I think, on this team. Well, there's two of them there anyway. A goal now would be a disaster for Kill Rossenty. Hannon, the big full foul. Tom Pendergast is uh, judged to have pushed him. Whether he did or not, I don't know. A scandal. Tom Pendergast says no, but the referee says yes. Who's going to take it? John Toomey, I'd say, is going to take it. This fellow with a left leg, this is a good player. He's quite enough so far. But will he do it with the left leg? It's an ideal ball for a left legged player. An ideal ball. This is John Toomey. I see the fellow playing in Ballydoff early in the year and I said he was making of a good footballer. What will he do with this one? He should put it over it. It looks good. Yes, Ivan looks up. Nothing in it. Three points to two with about 12 minutes gone. Almost 13. Oh. Is Pat going to kick this one out? Tom's leg is getting hurt. Tom's leg is not able for any more of it. So Pat, his brother. But like I said, both of them have won five senior championship medals with Kilrasenty. Well, we see what will Pat do with this one. A man walking in the PNT every week, he should be able to kick it because he's not that very busy. That's a great kick out, out to Paddy Pendergast. Tom Feeney is there, big Tom Feeney. Who's on Tom Feeney? He was very loose there, there was nobody near him. He kicks it over to, to, to Malumpy. Paddy Pendergast is gone, is he? Number eight. No, it's Malumpy. He's terrible like Paddy Pendergast. Into number 15, he's dead loose. Brendan Hannon, that's a famous belly duff name and that's a good score for Brendan Hannon. He was loose. There was nobody on Brendan Hannon. Whoever was marking him should have been on him. So it's level pegging. Three pints with a quarter of an hour gone. Three pints apiece with a quarter of an hour gone. This is anybody's game. Who was on Brendan Hannon there? Was it Seamus Veal? I'm not sure. No, it was actually it was wait let's see. He seems Brendan Hannon seems to have gone from corner forward. He's at the pulling over in the middle of the field. There's nobody inside the full forward line now, so it's have to know where's anybody who's playing in the belly duff team. They seem to be all over the place. They're switching all over the place. Maybe just to confuse the class and the backside, I don't know. Ned Fling went up, but he didn't get it. Tommy has it. The danger, man. Tommy is through. What will Tommy? Will he shoot him into the lead? He's going to take a shot, and it's a good one for a left-legged player over the bar. Ned Fling went up, but Tommy was coming on a run behind him, and he just boxed it out of his hand. And that's the lead for belly duff. Belly duff led for the first minute, and then Kilas and he came back at him, and belly duff are back in the lead again. Four points to three with 16 minutes gone. 15 and a half. We'll settle for 16. <laughs> Harry Quinn says, come on in the middle of the field. He's roaring over there. Come on, lads. He said, you'd want to wake up. Well, they would want to wake up because they're not playing well in the middle of the field. Dermot Coyley goes up, but he doesn't get it. Jeff Holen and his partner gets it. Oh, my God, there's a terrible ball for Jeff Holen. But lucky enough, Tommy Coyley is there. Little Tommy. Tommy looks to be well pulled. The referee says, no, who's going to get this? Kevin Lundigan has come for Into Dermot Coyley, he's loose. If he can see Dermot Coyley, he doesn't see him. Dam Dermot Coyley, there's a big cheer from the stand. I think Water will have to win in the hole. And I don't know, that looks to be a free. My God, nearly Kevin was well filled. John Welsh has gone through. Who's he going to give it? Tommy Coyley. Tommy Coyley ducks his man. It's a great ball for Tommy Coyley and a great save. Damn near the goal for Tommy Coyley. Big Dermot has gone in full foul. What'll he do with it? If I was him, I'd give it out. Out is Paul Hayes. What'll Paul? Paul has gone for his own score. That's a great score if it goes over. Nobody there. Oh, the referee says a free out, but it was over the bar. Neely Calvin boxed it over the bar. There was a cheer out of the stand there while ago. It looks like Waterford won the hull but I'm not sure. I'm up here in the, in the bird's eye, they'll say, but there was a big cheer went up. It seems like Waterford won the hull but I'm not sure. What other cheer could it be? Unless the Pope is after getting married or something, or maybe Mary McAleese is after handing over her presidency to someone. I don't know, but there was a hell of a cheer went up anyway. We'll get it at half time, we'll tell you. Right, the score is four points to three in favour of Ballyduff. That was the first shot at goal that we saw in this game. Big Dammer is back out centre field again. He got a fist to it. <coughs> Little Tommy is there, and Tommy is well fouled. Actually, he was boxed. He was made a sandwich of. This is a long ways out for Tommy Coyley. It's definitely slightly on... Is it on the 45? Well, let's see where the flag is. Yes. A meter inside it. Oh, yeah. I'll stick with the airs. I'll forget about the meters. This is a hard enough for little one for little Tommy. The main score of our and this sofa. All the scores come from Tommy. If he puts this one on... No, this is Taylor. It mightn't go wide. Yes, it's wide. That was a tough one now for Tommy. No real excitement in this game yet. It's a very tight encounter. There's not much in it. Few of the Kilrasenty players now are not playing up to scratch. It has to be said at this stage. Not playing up to scratch at all. Played better all the year. They're not playing that well today. It's anybody's game. Though anybody's game, whoever will get a goal is going to have a big say in this final. A goal is going to have an awful say in it. Oh, right, here comes the kick out. Up to Big Dammit. He got it. Big Dammit must have helped me. 
And he got a big cheer from the stand. What will he do? He gives it to Paul Hayes. A great ball from Dermot Coyley. What will Paul Hayes do with it? He's blocked down. Two or three of them around Paul. There's kickback. Paddy Pendergast is there. Nobody gets it. Kevin Lundigan doesn't get it. Will Kevin Lundigan get this one? He won't. The number three gets it. His marker gets it. Paddy Coyley missed it. Number ten. Tommy, the danger man is there. Tommy, let's fly. Only Jeff Holohan is on the Paddy Pendergast. Oh, half tackle. Jeff Holohan is going through. Who's he going to give it to? Jeff Welsh. Jeff Welsh will probably shoot. Will he put it over there? As wide as the, as the road below Mahan Bridge and all the roads around Mahan Bridge. That's a bad wide for Kilosinti. Good work there from Dermot Coyley and Joe Hulhan. And a bad finish for Joe Welsh. That should certainly have been put over. A scoreable chance. Where do we see how the score? There are about 10 minutes left in the second half. 11 minutes left in the second half. It's anybody's game. Big Dermot caught a great ball there. He's not on Paddy Pendergast. Uh, no, there seems to be a bit of switching. He's on Malumpy. No, he's not. He's on Feeney. They're all over the place. I think Feeney's gone centre field for Ballydove. But anyway, we're there and we'll do it. We'll, we'll, so he's stick with Jack Welch is on, on Paddy Pendergast. Anyway, who gets this? Tommy Coyle doesn't get it. The referee says that Tommy gave him a little nudge. I don't know. The referee says he did anyway. Let's wait and see. Not much in this game. Kevin Lundigan, not any right good ball after going into Kevin Lundigan yet. T a, 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 a low ball didn't go into him. Who's going to get this one? Jaholahan gets it. Let's it fall. Tom Behan is there. Tom will be able to gather this one. Give it to Pat Pender. Yes, Pat is there. Give it to Pat. Pat will let it go. Who will get it? Jaholahan should get it. Jaholahan. Neely Cavan is there. The little dancing Neely is going in. Daly should put it over. Had a great game here again. Balnamil. Oh, block down. A bad block from Nicky Neely Cavan. Well blocked down. Paddy Pendergast is there. Oh, bad ball for Paddy. Joe Holan is certainly playing his part in the centre of the field for Kilas today. Joe Welch is through again. Who's he going to give it to? Into Neely Cavan. Oh, Neely Cavan left it fall. Oh, God, we'll have to get an apron for him. Is it a free? No, it's not. I thought I heard the whistle. A bad ball for Neely Cavan. Out to Kieran O'Connor. What'll he do with it? Wide again. Kilas are kicking themselves. He's not gone wide. But Tommy Coyley would want four motorbikes to get up to that ball. Bad shooting with the Kilas and the line. What's going on here? Oh, he back kicked it. Oh, I don't know what kind of football is going on down here. Kind of skittles they're playing. Big Tom Feeney won't play skittles with it though. He let it go if he gets it. Oh, he did. He must have helped me. He kicked it down to me to show it to me. That's where he kicked it. Kilgassen, the power line, are not working at all in that today. Certainly some terrible wides. And all the year, it was the, it was the makers of the Kilgassen, the junior team, they're scoring forwards. Big Kevin Lundigan goes up for it, but he doesn't get it. Who gets it? Joe Welsh lays it off to Paul Hayes. If Paul Hayes, oh, he's since he swung around, they'll have to get a free here today with this referee. Tommy Kiley takes a good one, a great score for little Tommy. Little Tommy, the main scorer of the Kilgassen team here today. And a good pass from Paul Hayes, the two young lads. Between them, they're only 32 and a half years of age, and there's some of the fellas out there, and they're, they're all of that, 33 or 4. So they're only half the age of some of the lads out there. That's the way this class and the junior team is made up of. But where are them anyway? It's good to have the youth, and it's good to have the old fellas. So it's a nice blend. Tom Bain is waving up there. He says it's going to rain. He's waving his hand up there. I don't know what he's waving it. He's putting his hand up in the sky and he's pulling it down and shoving it over. All right, here comes the kick out. His party pinned against under. Big damn it. Ned Fling is there. He beat Tommy for once. Kevin Lundigan is coming out for it, but Kevin Lundigan don't seem to have the beat to that full forward today. Things, things are not going well for Kevin Lundigan in the air here today. Who is this? Seamus Veals in the well fouled over there. Number 15 certainly was pulling it. And Brendan Hannon. A bad ball in. Kieran O'Connor won't get that. Will Kevin Lundigan get it? Yes. Kevin Lundigan got the win in the first ball on your man today. And he'll certainly lay it off. He laid it off to, Debra, to Jahula. Jahula is... Who is it? Tommy Coyley. Kieran O'Connor. That looked to be a free. Kieran O'Connor looked to be fouled. Oh, Joe Welsh is going to take a big pot shot. Anyone inside, if they can follow an inch, they can box it in. Nobody there. It's a 65. A 65. This certainly would be a bit far out for Tommy Coyley. Is Tommy, yes, Tommy looks to be coming out. He's looking for instructions from the line. Harry says, let him take it. Uh, Joe Welsh is cable to take it. Tom Behan, I'd say. I've seen Tom Behan to score those kinds of one over the years. He hasn't scored a lot of them, but we'll, we won't tell him to you, Tom, if you put this one over. He certainly has the power, and he's big and he's strong enough. And like I said, he's the winner. He has seven five senior championship medals across in the back in the 80s. 83, 85, 86, 88, and 89. He's going to kick it with the left leg, not at all. He's coming down this way. I knew he never kicked a ball in his life with his left leg. If he puts this one over, it'll be a great ball. For, oh, it didn't even rise. Who's there? Party Pendergast. Party, let it go. Is there anybody out there for us? Seamus Veal is not there. Big Tom Feeney is there, and nobody near him. Who's marking Tom Feeney now? He's in the all over the place. Dermot Coyley is there, but he didn't get that one. Number 11 is there. Jim O'Neill is gone there. Oh, free in, free in. Is it Pat or Tom? 
Pat Pendergast, he stopped him from taking the quick free. Kilrasny had a lot of the play down now at 10 minutes. So the full forward is coming out for the bottom. Tommy Scanlon is coming out. He's going to take a shot at it. Uh, it's on the 45, a little bit inside it, about 42 metres. Well within the range of a good free ticket to put this one over the bar. Level pegging, a good, a good tight game, four pints apiece. Not a spectacular game, but it's tight. Let's see what Tommy will do. It's a good one. It's high and it's long and it's over the bar. That's a great score there for Bal Ballydoff. Tommy Scallon puts him into the lead, coming up to eight. No, he's not coming up to half time, is it? There's about six minutes left. That was a good score now for Ballydoff. Ballydoff seemed to be playing a little bit better than they played in the league final in Capa Queen. Anybody can win this game. Like I said earlier on, a goal is going to win this game. Whoever will get the goal. Who is going to get the goal, though? Tom Pender won't get it because he's playing in the full back line unless he's going to kick it. Come up and get it. There's a good ball out for Tom Pender. Who gets it? Nobody. Only O'Neill. O'Neill is there and nobody on him. Blocked down by Tom Bean. Box down. Party Pender is there. Back to O'Neill again. Party Pender the danger man has it. He's going to look for Hannon. A Toomey, the other dangerous ball in, who is it there, Ned Fling is there, he was looking for Toomey like I said, but Toomey wasn't alert, who's going to get this, only Kieran O'Connor, if he can get it fast enough, Kieran grabs it kind of half in under him, Kieran is going to, he certainly was fouled, Kieran was trying to round his man, a quick free, who's into Kevin Lundigan, the hobble bait you Kevin if you don't wake up, Kevin has it and a good layoff to Kieran O'Connor again. Kevin Lundigan is pulled inside and the referee don't see it. Who's going to get this? Tommy Coyle won't get that. He will get it. Is Tommy going to put another one over there? Yes, he will. He's going to round his man. To be a great score if Tommy puts it over. Oh, certainly they were all looking at it. That was close enough there. That was a close one. That was a close one there. I thought for a minute it was over it. Tommy, you know, the main danger man in there. The young lads are playing very well in there. They're laying off the ball well. Kevin Lundigan, Kevin Lundigan gave a great ball there. Laid it off the minute he got it. Well, we'll see how is the time going. There must be about three or four. There's actually four and a half minutes left to go to half time. And it's five pints to four. Ballyduff in the lead. And they're playing against the slight breeze. It's not worth talking about it. The only thing is the darkness is the problem in the second half. Out comes the kick out. Who's going to get it? Big Dammit has gone up with one fist. He didn't get even the fist to it. He missed it. Tom B and his man is there. Who's going to get it? Nicky Hayes. Nicky Hayes quite enough here up to this. Passes it out to his brother, who's only half his age. Back to the brother again. Brother doesn't get it. Brother kind of slucked it down. He should have... They should have let the ball go. Though. Tom Feeney is fouled by Dermot Kiley. He's going to bring the ball up. He was trying to take a quick free. Party Pendergast is going to kick it. Into Tommy. Tommy waiting for it. He's not. Nicky Hayes is waiting for it. Oops. The full forward got a wall up there for Nicky Hayes. Scannell. Ned Fling is there. Out to little Tommy. Tommy gets it. Oh, and Tommy... Oh... Kilrassen de Ball, I thought it's the Bally Duffman brought it out in the finish. I'd say it's a Kilrassen de Ball. Yes, Pat Moore, a very honest, very honest man in his job. It looked to be the Bally Duffman that brought it out. Tommy just barely kept it in. There's Ned Fling kicking it. Free, the referee says that the fullback for Bally Duff and Kevin Lundigan. There's a hell of a duel between the fullback and Kevin Lundigan here. Kevin Lundigan doesn't seem to be winning the battle with this fullback here today. He's in, he playing very well here, this fullback. Michael Drisslan, he's in here. The better Kevin Lundigan in here today. In the first half, anyway. Here it goes. Who's going to get this one? Jim O'Neill, is it? No. Tom Bean. Tom Bean's going to get it. He flugs it into Jahoulahan. Jahoulahan should let the ball go. Paul Hayes. A lot of shot passing here. And it doesn't seem to be suiting the Kilrassen the full forward line here today. Who's going to get that? Kevin Lundigan. Got it. Tommy Coyle is through. Are we going to see the first score of the game? A goal. No. Saved in sight. Tommy had a good shot, but was well saved. Out to Kieran O'Connor, is it? Kieran should pop the one over there. Yes. That's some reward for Kilrassen. That was a good ball from Tommy Coyley. That was a good ball from Tommy Coyley. Looked like the first good goal of the game, but the goalkeeper just got his hand to it. Over the half first half, Kilrassen seem to be the better team, but they just can't get the goal. They can't seem to get that goal. Kieran O'Connor, another minor this year and a minor next year. Paul Hayes, Tommy Coyley and Kieran O'Connor are certainly worth their place on this junior team. Like I said, three young lads, all available for minor again next year. And it's a good thing to have. All famous names from Kilrassen. Now the referee is looking at his watch. Wait till I look at me watch. I'm not too bad. Maybe I see I see two fellas heading off up through the cows above there. They must be going home. Maybe they came for the Holland match. No interest in the world in the match. And they have their hands behind their backs. Right, here comes the full back. He's going to kick it out. Michael Dresslan. Along the ground, a bad ball. Will Jeff Holhan get it? Somebody have it. Neely Calvin has gone down there. He's like a little frog going in. Oh, well, that was a harsh decision. Your man seemed to be sitting down on his neck. I don't know. That looked a harsh decision on Neely Calvin there. He was sitting on his head. And Neely have a fairly big head. I don't mean that in any disrespect now, Neely, by, but Paddy Pendergast is going to kick it now anyway. And Jeff, Tom Bean is up for it. Tom didn't get his fist to it. 
Thomas going to foul that man if he don't let him go. Yes. Number 15 was fouled. Brendan Hannon. Five pints apiece. Are we going to get you a goal before half time? Ned Fling is there. He's certainly holding to him. Kieran O'Connor looks to be pulled over there. Yes. If Kieran O'Connor can get the right type of ball, he can certainly beat that man over there. Kieran O'Connor's playing well down the half hour line. Seamus Veal. He's leaving it for Seamus Veal. Who's going to Joe Welch run out for it? Joe Welch is certainly playing well on Paddy Pendergast. There's a good ball into Kevin Lundigan. Kevin will grab it into his arms. He laid off. He's a great man to give off a ball. Into Joe Welch. Who's Joe Welch going to give it? Nobody inside. Kevin Lundigan should go in quick. Too far out, Kevin Lundigan. You should be inside in the full forward line. That's where you're playing. Paul Hayes has it. They're trying to walk a quick score. Dermot Coyley has it. Dermot is going to hit a belt of a kick in it. Who will get it? Joe Welch will get it. Joe Welch will cut inside. What will Joe Welch do with it? He'll give it to... Joe Holohan, Joe Holohan, uh, yes, a good score for Joe Holohan, his heart has gone wide. Good movement from the Karasny forward line. Are they going to lead going into half time? A minute to go to half time, there won't be any stoppages. Karasny are certainly the better team, but the, the scoreboard doesn't say that. It is the, they're only a pint ahead, six pints to five. All the scores got for Karasny from Tommy Coyley and Joe Holohan. Joe Holohan got one, I think Tommy Coyley got five. The second half, Kilrasny always like playing down into the road goal in the second half. Will we see the cup going back to the Comoros or will we see going west to Ballydoff? Who knows? Michael Dresslan is going to kick it out. Down to Paul Hayes and Ned Fling. Ned Fling and Tommy. Who got their fist to it? Pat Moore says it's a Ballydoff ball. Ned Fling got his fist to it. A minute to go to half time. This will be a disastrous time now for a goal to be conceded on the Kilrasny back line. Pat Moore, uh, uh, shame. Tomas Maher says, kick it quick. Tom Bain is there. Tom Bain is playing very well for Kilastri today. Kevin Lundigan will grab that one, will he? Nobody gets it. Somebody got a leg to it. Nobody got it. O'Neill is there. Paul Hayes is after O'Neill. Did he foul him? He did foul him. Two of them foul him. Tom Bain foul him. A double foul, but he only get one free kick for it. Big Feeney is going to kick it. If Tommy is loose, somebody would want to pick him up. He's not. Ned Fling is on top and top of his back. Feeney kicks it in. Paul Hayes is there. Seamus Veal is there. Who's going to get it? Joe Holohan is going to get it. Yes, Seamus Veal says, come out of my way. Out to Paddy Pendergast. Paddy Pendergast is there. Number six, Feeney is there. Feeney's going to cut through the inter-county man. What will he do with it? A good deflection from Tom Behan. That was a great deflection. Who's here? Kevin Lundigan and the big fullback. Nobody got it. Big Dammit is there. What will Big Dammit do? Kevin Lundigan gets it. Oops, that looked a head-on clash. Kevin Lundigan is strong. He's well able to take it. Paul Hayes has it. Give it all to Joe Holohan by if you have any sense. You can't go out to the pike with it. Oh, bad, bad, bad foul. Two or three fouls. Leave it down, Harry says. Pat Pendergast is after taking a quick one. Give it into Joe Welsh. Nobody inside. Only Tommy Coyle is on number. Can Tommy get it? Yes, Tommy has it, but can he round his man? Yes, he has him around it. Oh! Neely Calvin has it. There's a goal chance on here, but are we quick enough to get it? Kieran O'Connor, he won't get the goal, will he? He might. There's a good ball from Kieran O'Connor off the upright. Hard look in the Kilrasny forward line there. That was hard look. A goal. What wouldn't a goal have done for Kilrasny at that stage? Half time to Mars Mary. Spot on. Where did I look at my match? Yes, a minute over the half hour. A good, good tight first half here. Nothing spectacular. No goal. But anyway, we'll win at half time. Kilrasny leading six points to five. And that's the way it is. The wind is the same. The rain is hardly going to come down. The darkness is the biggest problem. So I'll take a break for a couple of minutes and we'll see what all the cheering was about, whether Water would have won the Arctis final above in uh, the athletic grounds in Limerick, whether they've beaten Limerick. There was a big cheer went there halfway through the game. Anyway, I'll be back to you in about five minutes for the second half. All right, Eddie, my friend. We're back here in the second half and there's the bowl Tyler coming down here as the linesman on the main. I keep an eye on Tyler in the second half. He blows the The tongue is nearly as tall as himself. He's either pulling over a big white flag. Anyway, back to the second half. Where do we see is there any switches? Is there a switch for centre field for Krasny? No, Joe Holohan and Joe Welsh or Joe Holohan and Jake or John, John Jake or Dermot Coyle. Is there Feeney? Yes, Feeney has gone centre field on Dermot Coyle. Paddy Pender, no, Paddy Pender has gone centre forward on Joe Welsh. Yes, I thought that switch was after coming before half time, but I wasn't sure. Darkness is after creeping in here. Will we be able to finish this game? My God, it's terribly dark here now. I'm having a problem in seeing what's happening. Wait till I set my watch now. Will you bear with me for one second, all right? Right, I have my watch set and we're about to start the second half and who'll be getting the con the cup? Will it be Kilas and the Dove? Off goes Big Feeney, he got a fist to it. Nobody coming to us. Only Seamus Veal. Seamus Veal should box it. Oh bad tackle on Seamus Veal. Got it around the neck. Somebody pulled him. Right, the score is Kilas near hit six pa Oh no, the referee says you picked it off the ground, Seamus. It's a free in for Ballydove. 
I thought Pell Seamus Beale seemed to be fouled there, but anyway, whatever. Here it goes. Michael Mumpy kicks it in. This will be an awful disaster for Glasgow if they hold a goal, because the Tommy is going in. It's a penalty. A penalty for Bally Duff, is it? It looks to be a penalty for Bally Duff. Oh, what a disastrous start for Glasgow in the second half. Big Ivan will have to face this one. Who's going to take it? A minute to go and a penalty for Bally Duff. What a bad start for the second half of Kilosny. John Toomey is going to kick it, is he? Where do we see? It looks like John Toomey. Yes, the danger, man. Big Ivan will have all his work cut out to stop this one. This is a disastrous start to the second half of Kilosny. Had look in Seamus Veal there. Picked the ball. A judge have picked the ball off the ground. And the light is coming to... Here comes Tommy up to it. Well, we see what they do with it. Puts it in the net. Puts it in the net. And that puts Bally Duff two points ahead. One five to six points. Eight points to six. That's a bad start for Kilosinty. Well taken, well taken penalty, it must be said. We can't take anything away from the Bally Duff player. And that puts Bally Duff in the driving seat. That'll lift Kilosinty. If they're any good now, if they're guts in them, that should lift them. Out comes the kick out from Pat Pendergast. Little bit of a win there. Ja Hulahan has got up for it and Paddy Pendergast. Seamus Veal is going for it. Seamus has it. Seamus well picked that one up. Yes, Seamus was fouled. Oh, yes, has to be Kalas. The referee, flip, referee waved it in there. Bad ball, bad ball. Will it, will it go over the line? It won't. Number 11 is there. Tierno O'Connor is there. This is going to put a life in Bally Duff. Big full forward has gone up. Who's going to get it? Ja Hulahan gets it. Ja Hulahan should let the ball do the work. Oh, it's a net fling. Tom B. Ned Fling is on a roll. Ned is heading goal was. Tommy's out of catching up with him. Will Tommy beat him to it? He won't. Into Kevin Lundigan. Kevin Lundigan says to his mind. Kevin has toddled his man. Kevin should give it. Into Kieran Neely O'Connor. Kevin is heading in. Will he lose it? A big man. Give a great ball out to Tommy Coyley. Tommy wasn't waiting for it. Tommy puts it over the bar. A great score. And you, Kevin Lundigan gave a great ball to Tommy Coyley, but he was only barely waiting for it. He didn't see it coming. So that puts a different perspective. This second half has started at a blistering place. I can't keep up with it myself. And the, the light is fading. It's coming in. Don't probably know is waving his hand. He's looking for a ball. We had heaps of balls here for the Bell Namila match. There's four or five more than a dugout. Nobody prepared to kick in a ball. Why in the name of God don't somebody kick in a ball, lads? No point in having the balls over there if you won't give them in. So it's one six to seven, one five to seven pints. One pint in it again. A tight encounter, this one. That was a disaster for Kilosinty. A penalty with a minute after the halftime was a disaster. What a worse way to start the second half. But if Kilosinty are good enough, they've played a lot of games this year, they should be able to come back. All right, here comes the kick out. Michael Dresslan. Will he kick it this way? Will he kick it to centre field? Will he kick it to Party Pendergast? Party Pendergast quite enough today. Big damn it goes up for it but doesn't get it. He gets it in the second attempt. Look to be foul. Look to be caught around the hand. Damn it is back in the game. He's going to leave it for Tom Behan. Tom Behan, if I were you, I'd lash it into the square, Tom. Take a chance. You'd never know what a breaking ball with Kevin Lundigan in there. Kevin Lundigan is under it, but will he get it? Yes, he gets it. He reminds me of Matt Ian in his day. Gives a great ball out to Neely Cavan. Tommy Coyley. Tommy, oh, Tommy, you looked a foul and you got away with it. Who is that? That's Neely Cavan, number 11. A great score for... Oh, bad wise. I was going to say, oh, that's John Welsh, sorry. Actually, the darkness, the, the light is coming down here on top of us. Quarter past four. I barely can see the players out there. Never mind, see the numbers on their jersey. Kevin Lundigan caught a great ball there and laid it off well, but the finish wasn't good. That could have brought us a level. The best, the best football has been played by Kilosinty, but they're still behind us. No good playing good football and be behind on the scoreboard. All right, let's look at the watch. Four minutes gone, and Bally Duff ahead by a pint. Up goes Jahulan with one hand, boxes it down. He doesn't get it. Number five gets it there. Seamus, the referee says he was fouled. The referee says that Patrick Malumpy was fouled. Pat Hayes is on the team. Who's gone off for Kilosny? That's Pat Hayes over there. We'll follow the play. Is it Kieran O'Connor? It's Paul Hayes, I think, has gone off. I don't see Paul Hayes on the team. Paul Hayes looks to be gone off. Tom Behan is there anyway. I don't see brother for brother. Pat Hayes on for Paul Hayes, I'd say. In the start of the second half, there's Joe Welsh cutting through. He's going to give it to Ned Fling. Ned Fling is going to be beat, but oh, that looks to be a free in. Party Pendergast found it, fouled Ned Fling. Is Tommy Coyley coming up to take it? The light is definitely, there's some kind of a kind of a queer show coming in over the cameras. Whether it's a slow or sleet or not, this is just inside the 45 yard line. Pity this match wasn't played yesterday. We'd have glorious sunshine here until 6 o'clock. It'll be dark before it is over. Little Tommy done all the scoring in the first half. What'll he do with this one? There's a tail to it, is there? It's gone, gone wide. There was a tail to that one. There's a little, slight little bit of a breeze across the field. But that's no excuse. Tommy should have put that one over. But then again, it's not easy to score them all. Tommy, we won't condemn you for that. 
One five to seven pints. Kilrossen uh, trailing by a pint. Out comes the kick out. The big full back, Michael Dresland. Ned Fling gets it. Ned certainly played a star all here again, Balnameel. Tom Bean, who's he going to give it to? Nobody got it. A deflection. Kevin Lundigan has looked to be fouled there. Referee didn't see the Kevin Lundigan's back on it again. He won't get this ball because number seven is going to get it. Jeff Feeney, brother of Tom Feeney's. Party Pendergast is down there. What will Party do with it? Party had a level old head. Played a lot of football for Holland for Waterford over the years. That's a killer Austin ball. Definitely Pat Pender played well there. Number 15 there, put it out. Seamus Veal is going to take it. Six minutes gone. Into j- oh, the referee says, hold on, there's something wrong inside. Pinky, Bernard O'Neill is going into Kieran O'Connor, is it? Kieran O'Connor looks to be injured. There's something happened down here along the sideline. Pinky, better known as Bernard O'Neill. He's known as Pinky, that's his nickname. Uh, I'd like to, his, fing- his finger, is it? No, Pinky has gone into the magic box or the magic bay. He's going to, it's his hand, is it? Something wrong with his finger, is it? Oh, not at all, he's looking for a drink of whiskey, he's. Not at all, Laura. Maybe he's winded. He was out all night at the disco at Davids or somewhere. He's all right, Pinky says. He gave him a shot out of the bottle. Nobody knows what Pinky is having them bottles. There, he's coming for the ball now with the bottle work, Pinky. You're a mighty man, Pinky. Whatever you put into the bottle for him. Kieran O'Connor, he's trying to take on a man. There are two or three of them coming to him. He looks to be a foul, yes. Oh, overplayed the ball, the referee says. He said you took on a man, you pelted it at him. Party Pender, I guess, is going to kick it. Party Pender is up to Tom Feeney. Tom Feeney quite enough in the first half. Who's going to win it? Tom Feeney's going to give a good ball to Tom Bean. Not a good ball. I hear he must have heard me. Kilrassen, they are all over him. Can they get a score? A goal would set up Kilrassen. Neely Calvin looks to be fouled. Yes, tripped. Can Tommy Coyley put this one over to the last level with about six minutes gone in the second half? This is the kind of a game that could end up in a draw. Anything could happen in this game. It could be a draw. Because it's a tight encounter. It's anybody's game, this game. Like I said, Pat Hayes on for Paul Hayes. Brotherly love. That's what he called him on. Little Tommy with the right leg. A long ways out. He's on the 45. Had one enough for Tommy to put over. It's rise and there's a call on it. It's not gone anywhere. Out comes Joe Welch. Will he get it? Joe Welch is cutting in. He gives it all to Kevin Lundigan. A great score for Kevin Lundigan. That's a mighty score for Kevin Lundigan. Joe Welch give him a great ball. Kevin Lundigan playing well in there. He's causing all sorts of problems there. Lays off the ball well to his friends, to his teammates. Level pegging with six minutes gone. Kilrassen, have picked the goal back. Like I said, eight minutes gone in the second half. Kilrassen, they have the better team, but it's no good being the better team if you haven't done the scoreboard. One five to eight points. Level pegging. Here comes the kick out. McNamara, the kick out. Um, Adris Lane, I meant to say. Sorry. It goes up between Joe Holland. Joe Holland's got a boxer, but he didn't get his hand to it. His centre field partner got it. Who's going to get this? Only Pat Pender. Pat, the force of it knocked Pat. Big Dermot Coyley is there. He doesn't get it either. Nobody gets it. It's on the ground. He looked to tip it on the ground, but the referee says play on. Who has it? Number 11 has it. Jim O'Neill. Jim O'Neill quite enough. There's Pat Hayes, the sub. What'll he do with it? He have a lot of experience to do anything with it. Pat Pender lets it go. Ned Fling. Ned certainly, they took Tommy off and Ned Fling. Ned seemed to be the man of the match here. Big Dermot Coyley into Kevin Lundigan. Who'll get it? Nobody gets a kind of a deflection, a whirling ball. Tom Feeney, big Tom Feeney. I might as well be hitting the rocket cash was hitting Tom Feeney. Here it goes, into number 11, Jim O'Neill. Who'll get it? Party Pendergast, third of centre field man. Big Malumpy is a danger man, number 15. What'll he do with it? He puts it wide, a bad wide, a bad wide, a bad wide. Brendan Hannon, there wasn't much in it. Both umpires said wide, and New Welsh up there, an honest man, and New Welsh, he said it was wide. But I can tell you something, there wasn't much in it. It was very, very, very close. They're looking for a ball, and there's a ball behind that New Welsh, and he won't give it to him, it's right behind him, behind the wire there. Maybe it's soft, maybe it's flat, I don't know. There should be a ball behind those goals, but sure, that's not my job, let somebody else do it. The wind is rising slightly in favour of Bally Duff. Another switch in the Bally Duff team here, the full forward... The full forward is after coming out. Tommy Scanlon is after coming out centre field. Switching all over the place here. Uh, like I said before the team, oh, bad kick out there for Tom Pendergast. Will he get it to Seamus Vale? He did. Seamus Veal gets it. Seamus Veal looks to be well held. Yes, no doubt in this game. A good competitive game. Not a, not a spectacular game, but it's, it's, it's competitive. Seamus Veal lets it go to Kevin Lundigan. Kevin Lundigan is out too. A great pass to Tom Bain. Tom Bain is on a roll. Kevin Lundigan certainly can give a good pass. The side of the leg into Neely Cavan. That looked to be a free. Neely Cavan looked to be well pushed. The referee didn't take any notice. Tom Feeney has it. Pressure on the Kilrossendy team again. There's a free though. There's certainly a free. Oh, there's a little bit of wrestling going on on the ground. It's all right. It's harmless. It's harmless. Tomorrow's all right. 
Tom Bean. Quick play into Cameron Lundigan. He was there. A deflection. Neely Calvin. What will Neely do with it? Neely going to dance with it. Neely is heading off over. He's going over. He's heading for Bellabui. Steady down, Harry says. Kilrossi are playing the better football, but they're still not ahead. I have a, I have a feeling if Kilrossi get a pint or two ahead of these teams that they're going to pull away. They're certainly playing the better football. Little Tommy, right on the 45. A hard one for Tommy. This is not easy for Tommy. If Tommy puts this one over to be a great score against the wind, it's rising. It's a good one. Is it over? It's going to land in the square and nobody goes up for it. The wind caught it. Not easy for Tommy. Tommy is going to get it. The clearance out over the line. Bad clearance for Ballydoff. Little Tommy is going to kick it in. What will he do? It? A quick one into Kevin Lund again. Out to Tommy again. What's t- Tommy going to do with it? He's a long ways out. Fire in. Kevin Lund again won't get it. Damn big Dammit will get it. Dammit didn't get it. He did get it. He have it now. Oh, does the fellow have to hop up in his back? He says he's going to go for a spin on him. Out to Jah And my God, out little Tommy. Tommy hasn't the distance of fleek. Is it all the way? It's not. Yet nearly Kevin got a fist to it. That was a close one. Yeah. And a bad, a bad, a bad, a bad for Kilrossi because Tom Feeney is off on the roll and nobody near him. Bally Duff gets the break. Oh, this could be disaster. Lewis made all over the place for Bally Duff. Feeney is there. Brendan Hannon is there. They're all over the place. Tommy's inside and no one on him. Number 13 is there. Brendan Cotter is there. What's going to happen? Big Ivan, gone wide. Kilrossi, they were lucky. They were lucky. Number 13 there. Brendan, Brendan Cotter. He certainly missed that up there. He should have buried that one. Nobody in the world on it. Harry's gone queer over. He'll drink pints tonight like he never drank him if Kilrossi win this one. He's horse and he's everywhere over there. I see a Robbie over there. Oh, Lord, tonight Kilrossi, a bad kick out, but it's all right, you go to Pat Hayes. That was a bad kick out. Oops! There looks to be a free there, Tomas Mahers. I don't know who is it. It's Pat Hayes, is it? He's going to hop the ball. It certainly looks to be a foul. Pat Hayes says I was foul. Oh, sneaky. A sneaky Hayes. It's a hop, lads. Watch it. Joe Holland is going to go in with it. Go in for it. And Tommy Scannell, Joe Holland will get it. He won't get it. A dangerous ball. Nicky Hayes, the old head for the long road. The old dog back to his brother Pat. Tom Pendergast. Oh, my God, Tom Pendergast. What did you do that for? He was trying to find Tommy Coyley, was he? He didn't get Tommy Coyley. He did. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. That's Kim O'Connor. Probably he meant to press it on in front of him, but it didn't work. Danger here for Kilrossi. There's a bit of pressure on here now over the last couple of minutes. There's almost a quarter of an hour gone, and it's level pegging. Who's going to get this? Tom Pendergast get it. Pat Pendergast. Seamus Veal. Is that Seamus Veal? Looks to be well filled. Seamus Veal is getting hard done by this referee here today. Don't seem to get any free. A good ball to Ned Fling. Ned Fling certainly winning a lot of ball there. Joe Houlihan. Kilrossi are playing well. Big Kevin Lundigan. He's out of full forward. I don't know who's full forward now. We'll follow the play. Ned Fling is there. Ned deflects it. Tips it on. This is a good game. This is a good junior football game now. Big Tom Feeney is coming to me. What will Ned Fling do with it? He'll get a free, but he can't get a free. He won't get a free. What will he get? He'll get nothing. He's going to hop it. All oh, the crowd are waving at the referee and shouting at him. They said to the free, but I don't know. I thought Ned might have done a Raymond Fling, as we call him. Done a little bit of Argy Bargy. Who's going up for it? Dammit and Tom Feeney. Big Dammit. Two big tall men. Big Dammit got a hand to it, but he didn't get the ball. Number 16. There's a sub... There's a sub on here for, for uh, Dermot Fling is on. A Donald Hannon. Another Hannon. A famous name. Who's coming out? Nicky Hayes. Out to Seamus Veal. Out to Seamus Veal. Pat Pendergast. Right legged Pat. That's going to go over the line here. Tyler waves the flag. A lot of pressure on the Kilrossi backs now. Pally Duff are hitting a purple patch. One five to eight points. Will it end in a draw? I said at half time it's a kind of a game that could end in a draw. The board wouldn't like to see it in the draw. Bally Duff are getting another sub already over there. Like I said, Donald Hannon is on for Bally Duff. We'll follow the play and we'll see it's nearly dark here. I'm finding it very hard to see the players. I can see the ball all right because it's white. Who's going to get that? Joe Hoolan got a fist to it. Tom Pendergast, the old head is there. The captain is there. He's going to give it out to Pat Hayes. Pat Hayes is going to go on a dance with it. Off he goes. Nobody near him. Nobody coming to meet him. The centre field man is going to go to me. Malumpy is going to meet him. Who's going to get that? Oh, Tommy Coyley. A great ball for Tommy and it ran wrong for Tommy. Tommy, was, Tommy still has it. But the initiative is gone. Tommy was in hard look. In low. Who's going to Neely Cavan should have come for but he didn't. Damn it, Coyley will go for it. He won't get it there. Feeney's going to get it. Kilrossi went in hard look below the for a break. There was a goal on but the hub all didn't hop right. Number 15 is here anyway. Brendan Hannon has it. Into the full forward. Oh my God, the other fella. Tommy Scanlon is there. Into Ned Fling. He's all over the place. Pat Pendergast is there too. The, Kil- the Bally Duff full forward line is not playing that well. The Kilrossi full back line certainly seems to be playing it. Tom Bean, what will he do with it? He'll let it go. Let it, someone said, let it go. Who's there? Only Party Pendergast. That man. That great inter 
The referee says he was fouled. Harsh decision, I think. That's a harsh decision, I thought. I didn't think to the free, but the referee says it was. Who's going to get this? It's going to go off Nicky Hayes. Nicky Hayes won't get it. Pat Hayes deflected it off of Nicky's brother. This could be dangerous for Kalasny. Two Hayes put it off of one another over there. Oh, it's coming in around the square. Who's up for it? Jeff Holland's up for it. Big Ivan is there. First ball, Big Ivan got it a long time. Out, oh, bad clearance from Big Ivan. Ali Duffer back in this game again. Kevin Lundigan is out. Ned Fling is there. There's a good tight contest. The centre field man is there. Michael Malumpy. Will he put it all the way? Is this the lead for Bally Duff? Yes. Malumpy puts Bally Duff in the lead and the rain is coming down. And there's 16 minutes gone. That puts Bally Duff into the lead again. One six to eight points. Who's going to win it? What's going to win it? It's anybody's game. There's another sub on for Bally Duff, but I haven't an iota who's gone off. Because it's almost dark here. You'll have to excuse me for not knowing because I can only barely see what's happening here. It's just pitch dark here. Yes, Pat Pendergast. Well, if I know a lot of the Gillespie fellas, I wouldn't be able to see him at the moment. That's Pat Pendergast, and the wind is rising. Certainly, Bally Duff have the wind in the second half. Who's going to get that? Nobody. Party Pendergast is there. No, his partner is there. Malumpy. He got the score a while ago. Jim O'Neill is there. Jim O'Neill, out to number 15, Brendan Hannon. If he puts it all the way to be a bad score for Gillespie, Jahul is there. Nobody is there. Nicky Hayes is there. How will Nicky do with it? He'll try and find the man. No, he doesn't. He kicks it out all the line. A bad ball for Nicky Hayes. Didn't gone yet. They're all one for Little Tommy have it. Tommy's a long ways up. Is there a flag gone up? No, there's not. Who is that? I can't see who it is. Jahul and I think. Ned Fling. Kalasen the ball. Quick ball. Oh, nobody. A bad ball. That was taken too quick. A terrible ball. Taken too quick. This could give Bally Duff the pressure back on. No, Pat Pendergast is there. The great Pat Pendergast. Kieran O'Connor, the hop Kieran will beat you. Jah Holohan is there. Big Damas is there. Damas was fouled. Looks to be fouled by Party Pendergast. Yes. Looks to be fouled. Kiraz did better off now to leave that ball in. Is Kevin Lundigan gone in? Nearly Kevin is full foul. There's Kevin Lundigan now. He must have heard me. Nobody inside. Who's going to get that? Kieran O'Connor. A great ball for Kieran O'Connor if he can get it. He looks to be fouled. What will he do? He puts it. He hit the pair. It's not gone anywhere. Tommy Kiley is there. Who's that? Joe Welsh. Joe Welsh is cutting through. Is he going to get the goal for Kilwasny? Nobody there. Nobody there. Whisht. Freen. He's the, somebody floored in the square. Is it a penalty? No. Joe Welsh was brought down. A late tackle on Joe Welsh. Or is it Joe Welsh? It is Joe Welsh. A hard tackle on Joe Welsh. He went to fist it, but it wasn't going to go over the bar. It's a freeing. This will bring him level with... Well, it should bring him level. We better not count our chickens. There's almost there's 11 minutes to go anyway. Who's going to take it? It must be a free for Tommy Coyle, is he? Little Tommy is going to take it, and Joe Welsh is up. It's, there's a thick mist down here at the moment now, and it's almost dark. It's 90% dark, and I can't see what's happening. I did a commentary here last year against Medellica. Anyway, we'll follow the game here, and it was dark before the match was over. And Tommy Coyle puts us back in level terms. Where would we be only for you, Tommy? You should be Pope, Tommy. You're a mighty man. I see Pinky in over with Pat Hayes. He's throwing bottles all over the place and bags. Is are we going to end up level? Or is there going to win a Tony Kelvin? I think is coming on the Kilwasny team. It looks like Tony Kelvin. They're getting Tony Kelvin ready over there. Who are they going to take off? I don't know. I won't comment on who they're taking off. Here comes the kick out anyway. Where do we see who will win it? Jahola is going to win it. Ned Fling, none of them it. Is it Ned Fling? Yes, him. Oh, a harsh decision on Eamon Fling. That's the third time that's ever happened to Eamon Fling. A hard decision, ref, on Eamon Fling. Wished he's going out to the line. He's bringing the ball up for somebody to set something. Thou shalt not speak to a referee, lads. You should know that Tom Pendergast has gone out for him. He doesn't get it. He does get it. Seamus V looks to be well fouled there. Oh, I don't know. Yes, he's given a late free now to somebody I notice. Tom Pendergast is coming. My God, this is stunning stuff. One six to nine pints. Level pegging. And about ten minutes left to go. Well, let's see. Yes, just straight ten minutes. There won't be any injury time so far anyway. Quick free. Who's going to get it? Tommy Kiley doesn't get it. Number two gets it over. Kenneth Geary. Out all of the line. I can't see the numbers of the players. I can barely know the class people. Party Pendergast. I know him with the long hair anyway. Was he fouled? He wasn't. Is that Feeney? It isn't Feeney. There's Feeney. He must have helped me. Big Tom Feeney's there. Damn it, Kiley's there. Hannon is there. Tommy is there. Number 17 is there. There's another sub on the belly duff team. Another Alan, Alan something. Wait, no, I'd better watch it. Number 15 kicks a bad wide. He's a gone wide. It's not gone wide. It comes out to Nicky Hayes. Safe hands, Nicky. Good on you, Nicky. Out to Tom Pendergast. 
Tom Pendergast, the backs are playing well for Kilarsen. That's a bad one, Tom Pendergast. I shouldn't have said it. But hey, on Tom, you're doing your bit in there anyway. Level peg and whistle. Wait, let's see how's the time. Nine minutes left. Is anybody's game? Anyone can win this. Oh, loose man all oh, over. Is that party Pendergast? It's not. It's Malumpy. He scored a while ago. This is a dangerous ball going in. Who's there? Pat Pendergast is there. How's the Tom? I don't know which one. Party Pendergast is here, though. Nobody picking up Party Pendergast. Kilarsen, are not winning centre field at the moment. They're in trouble in the middle of the field because Party Pendergast is coming into the game more and more. Nicky Hayes has gone out for it. There's an awful lot of play on over there. Who's going to get it? Ned Fling. That's Eamon Fling. Eamon Ned Fling. Look to be well fouled. you got a free at last, Eamon. You'll have to work and have for your frees today, I must say it. Number five has thrown the ball back there. Nicky Hayes is going to take it. Nicky never took too many frees in his day. The Kilarsen bench are on their toes over. Who's going to win it? It's a good junior final. A long way is better than the Hull match that went before. There's Nicky Hayes. Down to Joe Hoolan. Or Tom Bean. Tom Bean is going to pump a low ball into Kevin Lundigan. But Kevin Lundigan is not there. He doesn't win it off this full back. The referee says you fouled him. Kevin Lundigan is having some duel with that man today. But he doesn't seem to be winning on him. But anyway, what are him? There's nine, but let's see. There's six, seven minutes. And it's level pegging. One, six to nine points. And it's just... Fully dark here. It's impossible to see anything that's happening here. Tony Kelvin is on and wait till we see who's gone off. Is it Kieran O'Connor? He got an injury. It's not Kieran O'Connor. I don't know who's gone off. Oh, it's Neely Kelvin. Tony Kelvin. One Kelvin for another. Neely Kelvin off and Tony Kelvin on. Danger above here for Kilarsen. Who is that? That's Pat Pendergast. Is that Tom Behan? He doesn't get it. That's Tom Behan. That's Tom Pendergast, the captain. One of the oldest men in the team. Out to Joe Welsh. The next score is going to be vital. Whoever is going to get it, who will get it? Oh, you fouled it, Joe. Yes, you fouled it. Up to twice in your hand. That had right wrong time to foul a ball. Paddy Pendergast is going to kick it. The worst time you could foul. Six minutes left and the team's are level. What's going to happen? The next score is going to be vital. Will it be Bally Duff? Will it be Kilosny? Paddy Pendergast is pumping it in. Tom Behan is there. Looking for you, Tom. Joe Holan. Is it Joe Holan or Tom Behan? They must be twins. Number 11 is there. John Welsh is back again. He won't foul it this time, but he learned his lesson. He says, Green lads, I'm kicking it in. There's Tony Cavan the soap. Tony is on. Little Tony from Fuse. Into Ned Fling. That's a free in. Tony Cavan was fouled. Will he give it from where the ball landed or is he telling him come back? It's a long ways out for Tommy Coyley. It's a terrible important free, but Tommy Coyley is going to have an awful job to score this. It's just on the 40. I think there's a line under it. It's almost dark here. I don't know. He's got to give a shot to it. Kieran O'Connor. Oh, it didn't hop right for him. It's bringing it. It's tunneling it out. It's gone away out the ball. And Tommy Coyle looks to be fouled again. The ball is near our bodies. That's a, it's at an angle. This is a terrible vital free for Tommy Coyle. It's way out on an angle. For a right-legged player, it might be a good one. Straight five minutes to go. One, six to nine points. Are Kilarsen going to go into the lead? This would be a good lead for Tommy Coyley if he can put it over. This will be the toughest ball he ever kicked. Is it? It's not rise. No, it's a bad wide. A bad wide when Kilarsen needed a score. A bad wide. It never rose for him. The ball is greasy and it's dark. It's impossible to play football here now. That was a terribly important free. Pat Pender says, come on, Dermot, and catch this one. This is a vital kick out for Kilrassen. They would want to win this one. Up goes Big Dermot. Did he get it? He didn't. Belly Duff have it. Number seven have it. Who's going to get it over here? Nick Pat Hayes is running for it. Number ten, Tommy. Very quite Tommy, but he mightn't be so quite in the other end of it. Here he's coming. He's going to pump it in. He's not. Left leg it. What's he going to do with it? He's coming down loose men all over the place. Kilrassen, they're not picking up their men. Dermot Coyley, there's nobody on him. Somebody better come to him. Number 11 is there. Jim O'Neill. A belly duff going to go into the league. Big Dermot for number one hand and missed it. Oh, looky for Pat Pender who is there. There's Joe Welsh. Running on for Joe Welsh. Will he get it? Kevin Lundigan will get it. None of them got it. The two of them missed it up between them. Party Pendergast got it. Oh, Kilrassen, you on a hole. Big Tom Feeney. What's he going to do with it? He kicks it out over the line, but there's nobody over there. Only a belly duff man. Number 15 is there. Brandon Hannon. I can't see what's happening. Is this the lead for Bally Duff? He's heading goal, Rods. Is it a goal? It's the lead for Bally Duff. The backs never took him up. They left him running. The lead for Bally Duff. And let me see how the tying goal. Straight four minutes left. A pint of a lead for Bally Duff. There's the ball. The big goalkeeper's gone out for it. A quick free out now for Kilrassen. He wanted to take it. Four minutes to go. One seven to nine points. Bally Duff leading by a point. Kilrassen will have to come back and try and make it draw of it. Up goes Big Dermot. Will he catch it? He doesn't. Lord save us. He should have caught that one. 
That was a vital one. Will Pat Pendergast get this one? This is a vital ball for Pat Pendergast too. Number 15 put it out. It's a Kalasny ball. Kalasny need that one. Kalasny need to go up and get a score. Kalasny at town is certainly under pressure. To be disastrous to lose in two years in a row by a pint. Oh, it's a Nicky Hayes. What will Nicky Hayes do with it? You'll have to go for a score now, lads, and go quick because the time is going to beat you. Kevin Lundigan is coming out for Kevin Lundigan looked to be well fouled. Fabry said no. He was pulled. I saw his jersey pulled for me up. Big Tom Feeney, he was fouled. Oh, Kalasnir and Kalasnir and Tobble, he told me he has it. Kalasnir and Tobble, they want to do something quick if they're going to win this match. Two minutes left, maybe three. Paul Hayes is in there. Pat Hayes is in there. Oh, a dangerous ball into Big Ivan has happened. Oh, that was a dangerous one. Who's coming out? Nicky Hayes is coming out. Kicks it up into the sky. Jim Welch is going for it. No better head than Jim, but will he hold it? He doesn't. Oh, hard looking. Nothing going right for Kilrassendy in the last two minutes here. Nothing going right. There's danger ahead. Nicky Hayes is there. The sound man, Nicky Hayes. Who is this? Tom Bain. Is there a last raid left in Kilrassendy? Into Paddy Pendergast's hand. What a bad clearance. A desperate clearance into Paddy Pendergast. Bally Duff are going to get another score, it looks like. Number 15 is in for another score. Is he? Yes. Oh, this game is going out of Kilrassenty's reach. This game is going. Brendan Hannon. Brendan Hannon. Two bad mistakes for Kilrassenty. Two bad mistakes. Gave away two soft frees. Kilrassenty are back behind by two pints. They'll have to get a goal now to win it. One eight to nine pints. Eleven pints to nine. They're down by two pints. And when we see how is the time? The time, I would say, two minutes. Kilrassenty will have to get a goal if they're going to win this one. They've got goals in the past. Will they get goals today? Big Dermot is going for it. He doesn't get it. Nobody gets it. Number 11 gets it. O'Neill. Bally Duff are all over him at the moment. Looks to be Bally Duff's day. Yes, Dermot Coyley fouled him. Yes, it's a free in. It's a free in. Number 15. Number 15. He's going to take his time. Brendan Hannon. He's going to take his time in kicking the... Not 14, that's the score from, from Parky Keeve. Not 14 to 1 7, that's 10 pints to 14. 14 pints to 10. Number 14 is going to kick this. Tony Skelly is going to put three pints between us. Kilrassny will certainly then have to get a goal. There it is, it's Tottenham. No, it's white. It's white. Kilrassny want to hurry on and get that ball. Wait, let's see how's the time. I make it maybe a little over a minute to go. Kilrassny will have to get a goal. The penalty was the killer. The penalty just after half time was the killer. That's the one that that's that's the putting daylight between the two teams. Here it comes, a shot kick out. What's going to happen? Two Pendergast, Tom to Pat. Out to Pat again. What'll Pat do with it? He'll give it to Seamus Veal. Seamus Veal. They'll have to get a goal if they're going to win this match. Are they going to win it? Kieran O'Connor, he doesn't get it. Number seven gets it. Bally Duff are all over him. Tom Feeney is there. Tom Feeney. Kirasten he won the league. Are Bally Duff going to win the championship? Here I go, that's Toomey, is it? John Toomey, he's going to hold that ball. He's holding the ball now and he's going to just play out the time. It doesn't matter, that's as good as a score for Bally Duff to have a goal wide. Time is going to run out in Kilrassendy, but the referee is looking at his watch. A half a minute I make it to go. Is the game gone in Kilrassendy for the second year in a row? Two Western finals, a Western final last year and a Western final this year. Is there a last kick in the Cumbra, man? Here it comes, Tom Bain, they'll have to do something out of this. Kieran O'Connor is well fouled. The last raid is on. What's going to happen? We need a goal or a penalty or something. Kevin Lundigan, he's too far out. He, he can't get a goal from there. What's he going to do with it? The last raid is on. It'll Tommy Coyley. He's too far out too. They're going to pull him down now. I know what's going to happen. Yes, he's pulled down. This is it, lads. The last raid. If we don't get the goal out of this, well, it's all over. One eight to nine pints. Eleven pints to nine. Quick free. I don't know who is that. Is that Tony Cavan? That looks to be a free in. Yes, Ned Fling was fouled. If he puts it over the bar, there'll still be a pint in it. Is a pint any good? Hard luck to be beaten by a pint. It would be a disaster to be beaten by a pint. Tommy Coyle will probably put this one over it, but that won't be any good. Void. It's gone. It's gone in Kilrassenty. A bad void. That should have been put over it. The kick out, you'll have to get the kick out. Everybody says you'll have to get the kick out. It's all over anyway, it's dark. I make a time up. I make a time up. Two, two, one eight to nine pints. What's going to happen? Here comes the kick out. Paddy Pendergast is looking for it. Is he going to blow full time? No, he's not. Let's see who's going to get it. Dammit, Kylie gets it. 
Freen, he's given the last, the last kick for Kilrossity. Will they get the goal? Will they get the goal? Ned Fling, who is it? Who is going to go for it? Nicky Hayes, will he get the goal? Kevin Lundigan, will he get the goal? They'll have to get a goal to win this match. Oh, Tommy Coyley has it. A pint is no good, Tommy. That's a bad wide. A bad wide, a terrible wide. Three bad wides for Kilrossity. Three terrible wides for Kilrossity. Certainly have the, played the better football, but it's no good. They're not the better team now because played the better football, the better team, but the worst team is going to win this match. Well, I don't mean the worst team in any disrespect, but it looks like Ballydove are going to carry the cup away. Three bad whites there in the row for Kilrossity. Is it full time? He's not calling for it. I thought the take game was over. It should be over. Number six, Big Feeney is going to break away up the field. That's as good as a score to put it out over the line. I think it's gone in Kilrossity. It looks to be well gone. It's all over. Bally Duff are the champions. There it is. On a scoreline of 1 8 to 9 points. Certainly, Bally Duff, the penalty after half time was the killer. That was the killer for Kilrossity. The penalty. The penalty straight after half time. That was the difference between the two teams. It put daylight between the two teams. It's dark here. Kilrossity dejected. Beaten two years in a row in the Western final. Beaten last year by Medellica by a pint. Beaten today by two pints by Bally Duff. That's the way the go game goes. Won all their games all the year. But no use winning the games all the year and being beaten in the Western final. This was the one to win. No use talking about it. When you're beaten, you're beaten, and you have to take your beating. Bally Duff are going to receive the cup here now in a few minutes. And it's raining, and it's dark. Pitch dark here now. I can barely see down here out of the, out of the, out of the cockpit, we'll say. There's the Bally Duff Minters going out onto the field. A Holland club, known as a Holland club. Kilrossendy should have won it. Kicked themselves out of the field. They sh they'll miss a lot of close-in frees. Had to look for three goals before half-time, but that's the way the game goes. You win some, you lose some. Anyway, they had a good year. They can't complain. Had a great year. Won 25 games out of 27. It's pouring rain here now. Maybe Eddie, we're at nothing here. It's 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 totally it's it's John Jackson, is it his? <laughs> John Jackson. <laughs> I'm not going to 
of the people who came today, like today, no one was going to end up with, but um, Ricky Rich, Mike Beamy, and Pat Penn. <laughs> I love that friend of fitness coach, Monty Casey. Yeah. <laughs> I love that friend of supporters who travel to all the matches and support the start of the year. Uh, I'm coming here next time to watch this for a very important game. The three girls to watch this. Hip hip! Hip hip! Is